Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nadnado. Welcome back to Lorelei. I am picking up right from where I left off. What the fuck? Bro! What? My god! He's like Freddy Krueger! No. This ends here! No. What? What? You ruined my fucking life. You ruined my life. You're a monster. Shut the fuck up. I can't even question you about why you're killing me. But enough of your meddling. Jesus. Well, good enough for you, was I? You weren't really, no. Well, darling, let me tell you. I've killed people with my bare hands before. And I'm the one walking out of here alive, not you. Jesus Christ, man. You're crazy. Stop. Stop. You won't let me talk. You won't let me do anything. What happens if I don't say anything? Nope. Damn, I just... Wait a minute. I can... Get him with the glass bottle. Oh my god. Holy shit! Life without love, I refuse to live it. But I've been loving a lifeless love. Dude. It all seems like a memory, but I left me. It really sounded like it was about to break down just then, just like, <laughs> I am sad to miss that, but oh well, that was cool. But my god, what a freaking opening. Not even, like I had no idea that was about to happen. Anyway, this seems like it's it. I don't know, I didn't realize I was right. I don't know if this is the end, but I mean, man. This will be a quick episode if it just ends right here. Because I'm about to kill this son of a bitch. I... Oh, wait a minute. i got to think about it. Do I throw the thing at the monster? Or do I throw it in the furnace? I don't know. Well, use the lighter. Oh no, combine the lighter with the Molotov. Okay, it's doing it for me. Hell yeah. Eat this! Bah. Hell yeah! Oh, metal music, hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a badass! I even got to say a catchphrase. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That was sick. Just smash it in the face with flames and metal music. I love it. Oh shit. Okay. Ungrateful little bitch. 
You have ruined it all. I gave you all this power, and you stabbed me right in the back. I. That's true. You'd never let me leave this world. And I don't want to stay here. I made you strong. I gave you everything you ever wanted. But for what price? I almost ruined poor Al's chance to fix his life. That's right. He's lucky that half the time, I didn't really know what I was doing. No, I knew what I was but doing. That's not me. I made sure not to hurt him. And if you don't understand it, then you don't know me at all. Mm. All I ever wanted was a normal, happy life. Not just an illusion of one. That's right. You really think there's something better later for you out there? I want to find out for myself. Hell yeah. That sad mortal life. You can try your hardest, but in the end, you always lose. <laughs> so, be so be it. it. But at least I'll lose on my own terms. That's right. Naive little fool, with all your foolish dreams and hopes. Life will offer you nothing but tears. Those close to you will eventually betray you. They always do. There's a fire inside your belly that urges you to fight. It will die. Vanish. You will wish you could return to me. Oh, you will. But I won't be there anymore. I think I'll manage just fine. Mm. Okay, I was gonna avoid this, but... Why do you Why? look like me? I thought you should look yourself in the eye one last time. Soon, I will be gone. All of this is still memory. And even that will fade sooner than you think. Like a nightmare. I should wonder you look in the mirror and realize that I can never truly die. My roots grow deep. And my thorns these scars, you can never quite heal. Well, all I know is that it's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Yes, I'll go. And you will too. But not the same. Nothing. Nothing will ever be the same. Farewell, Queen of Maggots. Farewell, Queen of Maggots. Okay, it's raining. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, this way. Hmm, can't go in there. It looks nice, though. I think now it's time. Now it's time to leave this place. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold, hold on a minute. Was that some stew? Oh, it's empty. There's barely enough for one last meal. No more. Uh, leave food for later. I have a feeling. Aha! Zach's lighter. Light him up. Bring them back. Are they the only people? Yep, 
I think they were the only people I could do. Also, I just wanted to see if there was anything else back out this way. Nah, dead end. Never mind. Okay. No problemo. I brought them back. Zack, Bethany, and Mum. That's the three. And then the food should be me. Alright. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Let's do it. when it's sunny and not all messed up. Let's take it nice and slow. One last walk. Are we gonna find everyone back to normal? like a happy ending. Aww. Oh, maybe the three candles were for us, not for Mum. Oh, that was nice. But is that the end? Chapter 7! Oh my god! It is not over yet. Awake. I feel like this might be like a prologue. Epilogue, I mean, type thing. Who knows? Chapter 7. Hell yeah. There is more. More to come. Oh! Oh, yes. Chill music. Hell Road. I mean, sure, I live on Hell Road. Bus drops me right out the front of my house. I mean, that's that can't be hell. Oh, we're back. Wait a minute. This is a Jimmy. You there? Jimmy. Wait. As in the traveler, Jimmy. This is it. Jimmy's place. Has he really been sleeping oh, all this time? That's right, he told us about this. That's right. He said what if we ever make it back, find him. Yo, Jimmy. It'll take a lot more than knocking to wake him up. Alright, there might be something I have to do then. I got a plant. Haha. <laughs> that's a bit cheeky. It's nearly run out. There's 14p left on the meter. Wait, that's not where Jimmy lives. Why am I even knocking? You're knocking because I made you. Did I just hear a meow? 
Wait a minute. Is this the cat lady's house? I'm not cat... knocking again. I've not come here to talk to Jimmy's neighbors. I can't remember, but I'm pr this looks familiar. Maybe that was the cat lady's apartment. Oh man, that's so cool if it is. Jimmy. I hope you didn't die because I didn't feed you. Coins. There's some loose change. Should I have it? It would cover the price of the bus ticket. No, this is not our place to be taking stuff. Oh shit. He even looks like a damn raven. Cup. Why is it on the floor? Is Jimmy a messy kind of guy? He's freaking sleeping upside down. <laughs> well, he's still alive at least. Let's go into the bathroom. Let's look about. Wow. There's plenty of hair all over it. Gross. Maybe I should splash some water on Jimmy's face. Would that wake him up? It could. It certainly could. I wouldn't know. Alright. Jimmy! Wake up, mate! It's time to get up now, sleepyhead. Open your eyes, Jimmy! I haven't got anything in my inventory. <laughs> Damn! Earth to Jimmy the Traveler. Do you copy? Jimmy! Wake up, mate! He is dead. Alright. Fill the cup with water. Drown on this. You awake? Oh, he is awake. Good morning. Lorelei. <laughs> it's you. You made it. You remember? I me. did. Wait. That's better. Yeah. Thanks for that. Am I really awake? I can pinch you if you want. No, no, I can, I can feel it. So, oh, my neck is so stiff. <laughs> Ugh, this place stinks. We have to go. We have to um, go. Where? You Why? promise you won't take me anywhere horrible, like the last time. It depends. Are you afraid of clowns? Uh, well, who isn't? Yeah, yeah. But. Are you at least coming in with me this time? What the fuck? Oh, you couldn't stop me if you tried. Oh, okay. You're a mysterious man, Jimmy. Why? Oh. Well, <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I love it. Totally worth it, though. Bloody Jimmy. I think I lost my mind there for a second when I was a crow. I'm that glad you did. didn't listen to me. I knew it! I like to do things my way. I do things my way, boys. I listen to my gut instinct. Lorelei. Thanks for waking me up. You are alright. I'm sorry it took me so long to get here. I would have forgotten. <laughs> I had some urgent stuff to take care of. You know, my sister, and Zack, and the police. But everything suddenly just clicked. And I think I'll actually be alright. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Lorelai. You've grown up. I suppose I have. Adulthood is like waking up from a long dream. There will be times you'll wish you were asleep again. But you can never go back to the same dream. No matter what you do. Mm. You know what? 
I'll take your word for it, Jimmy. I'll take your word for it, Jimmy. Hey, remember that house in the dream world? I do remember. The one in the fields. Wait, which one? Do you miss it? <laughs> nah, I, do. I will say that. That house was kind of awesome. But it's all right. We've got a nice council flat. There's hardly no mold in it, and the neighbors aren't complete twaps. It has a roof and a bed. And it's not in a dream. Mm. So, what now? We live, Jimmy. Well, I'm ready to pull up my sleeves, work hard, and build a proper life for myself. Hell yeah. Sounds kind of boring. I don't Maybe say to that. you. You weird, dream-traveling... emo. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Watch it. Wow. You want me to come and spy on your dreams again? Actually... I dreamt of the Silver Lake last night. Silver Lake? Man, it shimmered like real diamonds. Later, I tell Jimmy about me and Zack moving into a new flat together. I tell him that my fears of losing Bethany to social services proved pointless, and that she'd been able to stay with us. Yay. We're a little family now. Hell yeah. This I managed is pretty. to keep my job at the Pinecroft Residential Home. Nice. Zack's back to his games, keeping an eye on Bethany when I'm not there. That's good. With us looking after her, she's never gonna cry again. For sure. Hopefully. Ah, oh, this is nice. Best name in the corner. Can you smell it too? What? Something's burning. Oh. I hope it's not my hard drive. What is it? What's burning? Oh, food. Oh, bubble. Chicken's on fire on the turkey, I don't know. When does that even happen? Just before Christmas, Marjorie passes away. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. She never spoke to me, and yet... It hurts. Hmm. Why do I feel like things are gonna spiral a bit? Everyday life can be a drag. Work, shopping, cleaning, all the mundane routines we lock ourselves into. Mm. I can feel that with every obstacle, <gasps> I'm headed towards a breakdown. It's hell. And not just me. Al, you better not be buying any more alcohol, mate. At least Al's doing fine. He's still fighting the good fight. <laughs> That's good. I think I noticed everyone had like health I bars keep or asking myself, just before. It's kind of weird. Is this the life I was fighting for? Was it all worth it? Yes, it was. Don't question it. And every time these thoughts come back to haunt me, I close my eyes. this place. What place? My own world inside me that keeps reminding me who I am. Wow. That's... A survivor. A powerful, unstoppable being. That's right.
when I open my eyes. Oh. Okay, I see the health bars going up again. Let's fall. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. George Adair. Hmm. Written and designed by Ram Kalski. Well, Ram, thank you very much for an awesome game. And that was. Let the uh, credits play out now. That's it, made by Harvester Games. That was Lorelei. Done and dusted. I am so glad that I got a happy ending. Oh my god. I don't know. 
That game. The game was truly something. And now we're back to the main screen. With no music this time. Which is, uh, kind of interesting. But yeah. And I think that right at the end of the credits, Susan Ashworth, I believe, I'm only saying it, I believe that is the name of the main character from the Cat Lady, so. Only a guess, but anyway. Yes, so it was, I guess, interesting to see that she was back. Very cool, I like that it tied in, in some ways. I may have been wrong completely about both of those, but anyway. Um, yeah. That was a freaking experience. And, <laughs> I don't know. I think, thank you guys for coming along once again on another journey on this channel. Another chapter closed that will forever be here. Like, I say it all the time, but I just love video games and how we can have such a unique experience. Like, with my live reactions forever locked in, like, you know, on this journey. And you can always come back to experience it with me. And it's just, it's fantastic. I love it. That's what I love about video games. Just the medium that we live in and have that we can enjoy. It's almost like a movie in a way. And you see my reactions to it. And it's just this unique... This, no one else will have it this way. Like, someone may have picked the exact same answers, but it'll always be like this for me and for you guys. But yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And before we sign off, a huge thank you to our Patreon peeps. Supporting the coven from recruits to our initiates and our number one disciple, Tiffany, the shout out. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Love your work. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload. So stay tuned for more.